what's good my lovelies and welcome to my channel lovely soul empress today i'm going to be doing gemini's uh what's the blockage twin flame reading um as always i have prayed shuffled and meditated on the decks i got a couple messages actually i got a lot of messages for you guys you guys got the page of pentacles so it feels like an offer you also got the uh the lover's card which is you you also got the two of pentacles so i feel like you're weighing two ideas and it is um has to do with the fool which is a new beginning so staying or going right you also got the two of cups so there's a lot of love here soulmate energy okay um you got patience and discipline so i feel like you have to discipline yourself and be patient okay and uh was that it yeah i think that was it the two of cups yes okay so um we're gonna jump right into it what i'm gonna do is i am going to uh pull a four card spread um and the first one will be the situation the second will be the blockage the third will be um the truth of the matter the fourth will be the outcome okay just a quick announcement i am running a sale for um love readings uh, for Valentine's Day, um, the sale will be from now to Valentine's Day. Any reading you book for an hour will be $60. Usually it's 100 and it's a live reading. You get to interact and ask questions. So um, if you're interested in that, hit me up at lovelysoulempress at gmail.com. Okay, there will only be a few slots. So, um, you know, the sooner you do, um, the better. Okay, so um, like I said, we're going to get right into it. Spirit. Can you show me what you have for my Gemini gang? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Most important messages they need to know right now, spirit. I'm ever so grateful and thankful for the gifts and the blessings. Please use me as your vessel, spirit. Please allow those benevolent ancestors and spirit guides and spirit guides to come through and bring forth the important messages that uh, Gemini needs to know. Thank you, spirit. At the bottom of the deck is the Wheel of Fortune. That's the overall energy of the read. Okay, Spirit, why is this Page of Cups here for um, Gemini's overall uh, situation? Why is the Page of Cups here, Spirit? Thank you. So this is an apology. Somebody's apologizing for something. A uh, wounded warrior, I feel like you're a little defensive towards their apology because you felt like they left you out in the cold with this five of pentacles. Now, um, as the blockage is the ace of cups, okay? So spirit, why is this ace of cups the blockage? Let me get one more spirit. Okay. So the Ace of Cups is love, and it's in the blockage. Even though it's true love with this Ace of Swords illumination, you have the Three of Pentacles here. There's a struggle to collaborate or work together. This also could mean a third party, but I haven't seen that. All right? I did see the Two of Pentacles in, um, in the pre-shuffle, but I really felt like it had more to do with two ideas, right? Single or together or work and love, whatever the case may be. And I feel like somebody's not working with the other person, even though there's a lot of love here. And that's the truth. Okay. Uh, I feel like it makes you want to walk away with this eight of cups because there's an emperor around you who's controlling and who keeps secrets knight of wands. This person could be a Leo, um, Aries or Sagittarius. They come in and out as they please, but they do have love for you with this King of Cups card, okay? So uh, let's look at this Sun card, which is the truth of the matter, Spirit. Why is this Sun card here? Okay, so the Sun is Leo. You could be dealing with a Leo, but this is, uh, you know, illumination. This could be ego, and this also could be the happiest card in the deck. So I feel like um, <clears throat> it's being clarified with the Knight of uh, Pentacles. So I feel like you've been waiting to be happy from a love offer or some type of tangible offer from this person. You've been waiting for a while. And here's the Hierophant card where they're waiting. 
right? The Hierophant card is Taurus, but this is a spiritual leader or someone <clears throat> in a union or something like that. But this is also the husband card. So they could be waiting on some type of commitment from you or vice versa. I feel like they're holding out faith though, or you are. Six of Cups, reconciliation at the bottom of the deck, okay? So uh, Five of Pentacles, why is that here as the most uh, probable outcome, Spirit? So somebody um, is crying over spilled milk. I feel like they're crying over a lack of co co collabor collaboration or working together efficiently. I feel like you guys could be together, but there's the five of pentacles is like the energy of feeling like you're not. Then you got the empress here, which is Taurus and Libra. You could be dealing with a Taurus and Libra or Libra, I should say, but this is the mother of the world. This is the mother of creativity. This is also um, the embodiment of all four queens. So you could be in the energy of creating right now. There could also be a pregnancy on the table. Okay, or um, it, it feels like, it feels like this, their singular energy, like you're together, but you're not working together. Seven of Wands in reverse. So I feel like you are losing, um, because the Seven of Wands in the upright is like being above the competition, or it can be like, you know, um, standing off the competition. I feel like you don't want to fight for it. You just feel like it should be. Yeah, and the wheel is turning here, Page of Cups, that apology, which your reading started off with an apology, but now they've upped the ante with an apology and an offer. Here's the Queen of Wands, okay, um, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, feisty, sassy, going after what they want, this person wants you, Two of Cups. But there's a decision before you with this Two of Swords, you feel like you can't make it because you can't see what it is. And the Two of Pentacles, that's why you are um, not making a decision because uh, you can't see which way to go. But the Chariot is here. Okay, somebody's going to take action. Okay, so let's look at this Wheel of Fortune, which is the overall energy spirit. Why is this Wheel of Fortune here is the overall energy for my Gemini gang? Let me get one more spirit. Okay, so the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like the wheel is finally starting to turn in your direction. I feel like you were waiting on something for a long time. I feel like here's the Chariot, card of Cancer. Could be dealing with a Cancer, but there's going to be fast movement coming now. Um, there is something that keeps you guys at odds, wanting to pull in two different directions. Okay, and you have the Fool here. You're ready to start a new journey. So this person, I feel like they would like to start anew with you. Okay, you're considering whether you start anew by yourself. There's a lot of passion in this relationship, but the four of cups is here. Look at you trying to decide whether you really want this or not. Three of swords, because something in the situation had broken your heart. And you want happier times, okay? You could have felt it was due to ego. You might be calling final judgment on this situation because you've been in an anxiety for quite some time. But the Ten of Cups is here. Okay? Happy life, happy wife, happy family. And then the Death card. So I feel like you're trying to let go of the um, image that you had of this situation with this person. All right? The Lovers, which is you. Somebody needs to make a choice. The star is here. They feel very connected to you, okay? I, I feel a lot of messages with this eight of wands. They don't want you to close out this cycle because there's a lot of love here, all right? They're ready to put down the burdens with the ten of pentacles, okay? This person is showing up as a page of wands, a little immature, but they do want to bring in justice. 
okay? And then the Queen of Pentacles, they see you as uh, the quintessential spouse, so they want to reconcile with the Six of uh, Cups. And then you have the Queen of Swords here. You're ready to cut away things that no longer serve you. And the Five of Wands is here, so any competition would have to be removed, or else you're going to tear your sword, you're going to um, take your sword out, okay? So um, let's go into what else might be going on here. Spirit, can you show me what Gemini's person is feeling but not saying? Anything else, Spirit? Thank you. So the first card out was, I didn't know what to say. So this person... Um, Something happened between the two of you and they might have blurted out something that they regret. I never want to lose you again. And you have my whole heart, right? So the decision and the two of pentacles is your energy trying to figure out if you want to return to this situation. I'm not so much seeing like a third party as I am a lack of communication, a lack of co collaboration. Spirit, what does Gemini need to be working on right now? Okay, and what does Gemini's partner need to be working on right now? Okay. So you got empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of the situation, okay? So you did get uh, discipline and patience in the prior. So, you know, maybe what you need to do is try to look at the situation from both sides and maybe that you're struggling to do that. And, you know, maybe you need a time out so that you can reflect. And then your person has doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. I feel like this person is waiting for an answer from you and it's making them crazy. Okay. So, uh, Spirit, can you show me the energy between Gemini and their person right now, Spirit? Can you show me the energy? The first is, it's safe for you to love. The second one is, you deserve love. And the third is soulmate. Okay, so we're going to clarify those as well. Why is this, uh, it's safe for you to love here, spirit? So, um, anxiety and sleepless nights have kept you up worrying about what's going to happen with this ten of cups okay you guys could have some years under the belt because there's some type of transformation happening between the two of you and here and it could just be you because this is the lover's card okay um i feel like you're looking at the situation differently and maybe you don't know if this person is safe for you to love anymore because maybe they're not accessible accessible emotionally spirit why is this you deserve love here let me get one more So um, you deserve love. I feel like this person knows that you do. I feel like you know that you do too. I feel like they're manifesting you with the Magician card, card of Aries, and the Page of Swords, but you have them blocked energetically, okay? And then you have the Soulmate card here, Spirit. Why is this here? So soulmate, yes, this is your soulmate, Queen of Pentacles. They see you as the spouse, okay? But you've got to decide what you really want from this person because they really want this, although they have uh, communication issues, okay? Three of Cups, all right? They just want to be happy with you. 
Uh, they intuitively know that you're their person. You feel like home with the Four of Wands. They want to move to calmer waters with this Six of Swords. Okay, but the Ten of Swords is here. There was some type of betrayal that is blocking this. I feel like you might feel betrayed because they weren't there for you in some way. The strength card is here. Could be a Leo. But you're trying to tap into your inner strength. And there is a lot of love here. If this person... Um, is coming up as the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, and Sag. They're coming in for you, okay? They see that you're resting and healing, but they're going to make a love offer anyway, okay? So that's what I have for you guys. I'd just like to say thank you to my returning um, subscribers for spending a little bit of time with me. And if you're a new viewer and you felt I resonated with you, please like, subscribe, and comment, as I would love to have you as part of the lovely soul family. I'm wishing y'all light and love and blessings on blessings. Namaste.